the Treasury bonds do spike, I uh, will get stopped out of the TBT, and I'll look to re-enter again, but I'll have to wait until I get further confirmation of a pattern. It still hasn't happened yet. It's got to get below 32. It's trading at 33 and change right now. So as long as it can do that, you know, we're still on, uh, we'll still be able to do it. Okay, now it's with a great deal of pleasure that I bring on my friend Arch Crawford from Tucson, Arizona. He's the uh, writer for Commodity Perspective, excuse me, <laughs> Crawford Perspectives, and he is uh, the he's the granddaddy of the financial stuff, folks. Uh, Arch is uh, three years older than me, and uh, we are, are, yeah, I know, I'll bring it up. Anyway, Arch, uh, here we are. If you folks have any questions, please call in at 877-927-6648. Arch, you've got, the, you've got the podium, so go ahead and tell us what you're seeing. Um. Well, I'm seeing uh, the strangest thing is that normally when you get six days in a row down, you get an intermediate level turn to the upside. Uh, we got one day up on lower volume, which did not make sense at all, and then since then we've come back down. So it's a, a very strange but very weak pattern. Uh, the strongest thing today is that... Um, we broke the lows of, of uh, the 13th on the Dow Jones only, but not on the S&P and not on the NASDAQ yet. So uh, that's a potential positive for a bounce here right now. So I'm watching for that. I uh, don't know if it'll be a, a little bounce or a more significant turn, but the action is still very poor in my opinion. <laughs> On the yeah. on the general market trends, the what? dollar is uh, bouncing up to towards the 100-day moving average, and which is coincident with a major downtrend channel line at about oh 76 on the dollar index, 76 76 and a quarter. And right now, there's an old uh, minor trend line that it's uh, hitting exactly right now. Uh, so that's debatable yet how much of a play we'll get in the dollar uh, if the, uh, the Greek thing does come apart at the seams or if the euro comes apart at the seams, which it seems to be uh, headed towards right now. So I've uh, been been negative on the dollar except when we made this uh, higher low um, in early June and headed up again. So, uh, And I've said all along that if we have more euro problems, then it could get a good rally. Now, I don't know how good it will be unless it breaks through important resistance in the 76, 76 and a half levels. Now, the, uh, you were looking at the bonds, and they're at a um, – midpoint sort of the 50 percent level of the uh, that the most recent significant highs and lows in the last few months and uh, the they're at their uh, 200 day moving averages it looks like so they came up to the 200 day moving average the 10 year went through it the 30 year went through it a little bit and it's stabilizing right at that 200-day moving average. So uh, it, it's going to be, it's pausing to see what's going to happen, and then it'll either go back to the top of the pattern or return to the bottom of the pattern, uh, depending on characteristics. But right now we're at the tipping point. Arch, how do you see the market, uh, you know, say after we get through this uh, full moon and lunar eclipse that we have right now, how do you see the market, say, three or four weeks you know, out in the future? Well, we're getting very oversold on the very short-term indicators, but not on the intermediate and long-term indicators. So, uh, so you could get short-term bounces, but I don't see uh, those bounces holding for long. Now, we are not in the area of a Mars Uranus crash cycle until next July, a year from now. But that doesn't mean the market can't go down. It just that it won't probably won't be one of the ten worst declines of the last hundred years. So I'm not looking for a crash right now. But the as I say, the action is poor. The VIX just went above the high uh, since last 
middle of March, um, and that as long as VIX is rising, that's a negative. It is not yet up to its 200-day moving average, but it's uh, only a, a point away. So if it breaks above the 200-day moving average at about 21 and a half, then it the last. Uh oh, I lost Arch. Uh, On the VIX, I can hear you fine. Oh yeah, 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 you're back. You're back. I'm sorry if I moved away from the phone at all. <laughs> <laughs> the VIX, I was saying, has uh, broken to the highest level since last middle of March, uh, and that it's up near the 200-day moving average uh, at about 21 uh, and change. It's net 20.73, and uh, if it gets through that, then it could run up to 3031, which was the high of the uh, March peak. And to get more serious, it has to go above that. And if it breaks above 38, then it'll be the highest it's been in a couple of years. Uh, and that would be a really, really more serious decline setting in. in a, uh, if it gets above 38 in the VIX, do you uh, do you see have any uh, you know really serious aspects you know these planetary aspects that we look at uh, that are coming out towards uh, late June and early July? As I recall, the last time we went to dinner, we talked something about the first or second week in July. There was a whole lot of things happening. I just wondered if, uh, if you had looked at that yet. I have not actually. Um, okay. I have not looked at that. Okay. Hey, Arch, uh, we, have a, we have a caller coming in, uh, Marvin from Orlando, Florida. Are you there, Marvin? Oh, How are you? One, Larry, one comment I did have in the, in the recent newsletters, uh, J July 9th, Uranus turns retrograde, unusual and expected events. July 15th is the earliest possible ex expiration Friday. So if, you, if you're trading options, you should realize that it's a short cycle. <laughs> The shortest possible cycle, and it's a full moon in the early morning. I say expect the worst and update your stop loss orders. Okay. And that's well, July the fifteenth, option expiration, full moon. Okay. Well, we have Marvin on in Orlando, Florida. Are you there, Marvin? Hi. Thanks for taking my call. Go ahead, Arch. Okay. Um, I I follow astrology, so I wanted to ask a long term question. Um, that. Pluto Uranus square that is going to happen 2013 and 14. Um, is that going to be deflationary? What's, what's going to happen to real estate prices, interest rates? Are prices going to come down? I, th I think we'll be in the middle of the uh, second Great Depression. So that means prices will crash. Yes, I believe that's so. You know, nobody knows for sure, but. Uh, Uranus Plutos are some of the worst things that happen in the market in my uh, uh, overview of it so far. And uh, I think we had a Uranus to, to Bill Clinton's Pluto and a Pluto to his Uranus when he was impeached by the uh, Congress. But it's, uh, it's, it should be really bad for Brazil. You know, they talk about Brazil as being one of the leading countries coming out and uh, – the, um, you, Arch, hold yeah. on just a minute, Arch. We've got a commercial that we have to do. Okay. If you have any questions, call in at 877-927-6648 and stick with us, Arch, okay? Okay. Basin Gold is an international gold mining company with two producing mines in the world's most prolific gold mining areas, the Hollister Gold Mine on the Collin Trent in Nevada and the Burnstone Gold Mine in the Witts Basin in South Africa. The Burnstone Mine is a low-cost, long-life, shallow mine that is a company builder, and the Hollister Mine is one of the world's highest-grade ore bodies being mined today. Burnstone offers a huge re-rating potential by producing in the fourth quarter, and Hollister represents a tremendous and very exciting exploration opportunity. With annual production of 165,000 ounces of gold in 2010, 260,000 in 
2011 and 330,000 ounces of gold in 2012, Great Basin is poised to become a leading mid-tier gold producer. Great Basin Gold has resources of over 13 million ounces, exceptional organic growth potential at its current mines and greenfield operations in Tanzania and Mozambique. Great Basin has strong management and a commitment to deliver exceptional value and cash flow to its shareholders while acting responsibly toward its surrounding communities. To find out more about Great Basin Gold, click on their banner on the front page of TFNN.com or check them out on the American Stock Exchange, symbol GBG. Direction Shares Leverage ETFs views the benefits of exchange-traded funds with the innovation you expect from Direction, providing investors with opportunities to magnify their short-term perspective, utilize bull and bear funds from both sides of the trade, and trade through rapidly changing markets. Direction Shares, ETFs to the power of X. To learn more about Direction Shares, click on the Direction banner on the front page of TFNN.com or call 866-476-7523. There is no guarantee that the funds will achieve their objective. The ETFs are not suitable for all investors and should be utilized only by sophisticated investors who understand short-term trading, leverage risk, consequences of seeking daily leverage investment results, and intend to actively monitor and manage their investments. An investor should consider the investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses of Direction Shares carefully before investing. The prospectus contains this and other information and can be obtained at directionshares.com. Please read the prospectus carefully before investing. Distributed by Foresight Fund Services, LLC. some extra cash to help pay off some of your bills? Let Tiger Metal Exchange convert your unwanted jewelry to cash. We pay out 80% of the market price for gold. Our payouts are the highest in the industry, more than double our largest competitors. And we've created the safest, easiest, and most straightforward process for converting your jewelry to cash. Log on to TigerMetalExchange.com and get your free scale, your free eye loop, and get the cash you deserve now. We provide a free online calculator that converts your jewelry to cash at up-to-the-minute spot prices. We insure your items for up to $75,000 per shipment free of charge. We videotape the entire valuation process so that you can view it online. You can call us toll-free at 866-618-8888 or log on to TigerMetalExchange.com. Let Tiger Metal Exchange put more cash in your pocket without ever leaving the comfort of your home. Join the list of thousands of satisfied customers and go to TigerMetalExchange.com. It's the only click you need to make. You've heard Bud Rolfs give his expert technical analysis of the stock market on the radio. Now you can have his superior trading advice and his best stock picks delivered right to your desktop every week with his newsletter, The Torch. Using his own trademark Warpath trading system, but will help you to increase your odds of making and saving money in the markets with powerful stock selection, stock analysis, and trading plan strategies. Published every Monday morning, each issue of The Torch features full-color charts in an easy-to-follow format. You will also receive not only the big picture of what's going on in the major markets and critical sectors, but also featured stock picks with complete trading plans and technical setups, as well as the Subscribers Corner, where Bud analyzes stocks submitted by subscribers. Visit TFNN.com today and receive your two-week free trial of The Torch. That's a $75 value. Sign up now and make sure you receive all the great market analysis and winning trade ideas in every action-packed issue of The Torch from Bud Rolfs. Hi, folks. This is Tom O'Brien. My new book, The Art of Time in the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, is for sale at Amazon.com for only $18.40. Okay, folks, I'm back with Arch Crawford, um, the uh, writer and owner of C uh, Crawford Perspectives. Uh, I think if you want to uh, see his newsletter, if you go to www.crawfordperspectives.com, you'll be able to, uh, you know, get an idea of what uh, Arch does. Arch, someone uh, wrote uh, 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 an email, instant message to us to, to look at the uh, uh, a gold stock called uh, Great Basin Gold. And uh, before you get into that, uh, what's your feeling on the gold market uh, as we stand right now? Because I know you've made a lot of money over the years. Uh, you know, I've you've been bullish. I've, I've known you 23 years, and you've been bullish all the time uh, uh, that I've known you. So <laughs> I know you've done well. What do you think of gold here? Actually, that's not true. I went bullish in 2001. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, I know it's been a long the, time. That's for sure. April the fourth or fifth, when there was a Jupiter Neptune trine. Wow. Oh, the market's cracking here. 
Uh, well, you could. You still have to finish the show, Arch. I know you're negative, but you, you, I, you, I paid big bucks to have you on today, so you've got to finish the show. Just tell us what you think of gold in here, Arch. Okay, let me look at the charts here. Um, the gold and the silver are against support right now. The silver is on a trend line that's good from last August. Uh, it hit the hit hit the trend line last August. Started the trend line. It hit it in late January, it hit it in the second week of May, and it hit it again two days ago and bounced up above. Now, uh, the gold did the same thing with the 50-day moving average. So they are both holding above support, but just barely. If they break those supports, then I think we'll have another leg down perhaps to the 200-day moving averages, which on the silver is a, a little over 30, and on the gold, is right at 1400 mm -hmm. that, uh, that would be a pretty big drop in gold. Well, if they don't break those lines, then they could put another leg up. So I would buy them against the line and have a reverse stop just under them. Okay. That's, that sounds fair enough. The, the chart that the person asked about, the Great Basin Gold, is exactly at the 61% retracement of the low we made back in uh, December of 2008 here at a dollar 72. Now I don't like stocks under five dollars, but this stock should hold a dollar 70. Uh, and if it doesn't, you know, I would be out of that stock if it went below a dollar 60 because you know it's been going down for a whole year when gold's been making new highs. So that's not a good sign either, uh, in my opinion. Sam, I have another question about the um, the Greek default and stuff. Do we see anything, or do you see anything in in the charts of uh, you know the Euro countries with what happens uh, with these defaults that are you know talked about on uh, Bloomberg and CNBC all the time? Um, I have not followed that closely, and um, I don't do much of that type of astrology. But uh, I was down in uh, speaking in Rio uh, de Janeiro and. A friend of mine, or a friend of yours, <laughs> I was staying with, uh, his partner is an astrologer. And he said that in Brazil, they have a natal Pluto-Uranus square, and that the square that's coming up, actually it starts next year in July, the first one, and then there's an exact one on next year's fall equinox on the September 22nd or 23rd, whenever the equinox is that year, next year. So those are um, really powerful times. Anyway, the Uranus will be on the Pluto of Brazil, and uh, Pluto will be on the Uranus of Brazil on those squares. And that should overthrow the government or be really, really worse for Brazil than for a lot of other countries. I know that their current president was a uh, communist uh, radical who did jail time down there. So I don't know how that's going to play out. Does that happen during the time of the Olympics? Because I know they've won some type of an Olympic uh, venue. I just was curious. <laughs> I don't know anything about the yeah. Olympics. Well, that, you know, you might be some terrorist activities, you know, if it's during the Olympics. You know, we had that in oh, 72 in Munich, and I just wondered it might be something like that. But, you know, that's not in the financials. The main thing we want to know right now is do you think that we have a chance to really melt down here uh, during this full moon uh, week? You know, we've down six or this is our seventh or eighth week down in the stock market, and uh -huh. uh, we're making new lows now uh, as we speak. And uh, right after this commercial, Arch, I'd like to come back and ask you some more questions about some of the price objectives that you might be looking at, you know, if we start to accelerate to the downside here today. Okay. So stay with us, and if you have any questions, call in at 877-927-6648. Talk to Arch Crawford.
Timing the Trade Charts is a complete charting software package that brings together all the tools that you need to analyze stocks using Tom O'Brien's Timing the Trade methodology in one easy-to-use application. For the low yearly rate of $449, Timing the Trade Charts automatically computes swing points, ABCs, Fibonacci retracement levels, confluence, gaps, and much more. Timing the Trade Charts is now available at TFNN.com, and you can download it and try it risk-free for seven days. We're so confident that you'll love this new charting software package that we're offering a 30-day, no-questions-asked money-back guarantee. If you're not completely satisfied with this software, just let us know within 30 days and you'll get a complete refund. In order to take advantage of this great offer, log on to TFNN.com and click on the Timing the Trade Charts banner or call our office at 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. FNN is proud to bring you the cutting edge of newsletters. Ken Shreve's Ultimate Growth Stocks. Ken is a top-down investor who lets price and volume in the major stock indices tell him when to be in the market and when to be out. By using his unique blend of fundamental and technical analysis, Ken will protect your hard-earned capital while realizing breakout gains. Go to TFNN.com today. Click Investments Newsletters and get Ken Shreve's Ultimate Growth Stocks free for two weeks. Great Basin Gold is an international gold mining company with two producing mines in the world's most prolific gold mining areas. The Hollister Gold Mine on the Collin Trend in Nevada and the Burnstone Gold Mine in the Witts Basin in South Africa. The Burnstone Mine is a low-cost, long-life, shallow mine that is a company builder. And the Hollister Mine is one of the world's highest grade ore bodies being mined today. Burnstone offers a huge re-rating potential by producing in the fourth quarter and Hollister represents a tremendous and very exciting exploration opportunity. With annual production of 165,000 ounces of gold in 2010, 260,000 in 2011 and 330,000 ounces of gold in 2012, Great Basin is poised to become a leading mid-tier gold producer. Great Basin Gold has resources of over 13 million ounces, exceptional organic growth potential at its current mines and greenfield operations in Tanzania and Mozambique. Great Basin has strong management and a commitment to deliver exceptional value and cash flow to its shareholders while acting responsibly toward its surrounding communities. To find out more about Great Basin Gold, click on their banner on the front page of TFNN.com or check them out on the American Stock Exchange, symbol GBG. What type of investor are you? Conservative, moderate, or aggressive? No matter your investor personality, your overall portfolio should reflect your financial goals, time horizon, and your risk tolerance. Help ensure your portfolio is appropriately invested with an asset allocation plan from Morgan Stanley Smith Barney. Simply picking the right stocks is not enough. Research has shown that choosing the right proportion of stocks, bonds, and cash is essential to the success of your long-term investments. Morgan Stanley of Smith Barney believes a carefully selected portfolio can lower your volatility and increase investment return potential. Find out about what asset allocation and a Morgan Stanley Smith Barney financial advisor can do for you. Call Angelo O'Brien, financial advisor and certified financial planner of the Clearwater, Florida branch at 727-441-6108 today to discuss your personal financial needs. Asset allocation does not assure a profit or protect against loss in declining financial markets. Investments and services are offered through Morgan Stanley Smith Barney, LLC. Member SIPC. TFNN introduces Tiger TV. Tiger TV brings you video content to help you succeed in the financial markets and beyond. Investors and traders can get in-depth information, news, commentary, and education for investing and trading equities, options, commodities, forex, futures, and more. Just go to TFNN.com and click Tiger TV and select your favorite channel from the carousel on the left. Grab a popcorn and get ready for Tiger TV, a great new service from TFNN. FNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, folks, we're back. Uh, if you have any questions for Arch Crawford, call at 877 927 6648. And um, Arch, you're still there, and I'd like to ask you. You know, we get a lot of flack because of, you know, we do financial astrology and people say, oh, my gosh, you guys are looking at eye of Newton, toe of frog and things like that. And people don't understand that we're, we're looking at some real scientific and mathematical models that we look at. W would you care to, you know, to enlighten our audience about how you got started in this and, and how much you believe in it? Well, yes. Uh it's um, not exactly a belief since I took a, a rather scientific approach to it. Uh, 
I was a technical analyst at Merrill Lynch under Robert Farrell, the legendary fellow over there who became uh, later the top technical analyst on Wall Street. And um, the day before my birthday in 1963, an article came out on the front page of the Wall Street Journal that called my attention to it. So I said, gee, you know, I was young and impressionable, and I, I was looking at everything that might have anything to do with predicting the markets. And um, so I read two or three uh, books about it, and I found it somewhat confusing. And I said, this is not what I want to know. I want to know what is the average percent change in the Dow Jones going all the way back on all of these planetary events. And so I actually got a hand calculator that was programmable and calculated uh, a number of the cycles by hand in 1960s and in the in the 70s, I got real serious about it, and uh, I've been doing it ever since. Now, uh, as far as the record goes, uh, you know, Bob Prechter was on a radio show in London about a year and a half ago, and he said, uh, he said after a 10-minute interview, the guy says, well, well, who do you think has been good in this business? And he said, well, Arch Crawford probably has the best 30-year record. <laughs> Well, you do, Arch. You're, you're always up there in the top ten. Well, actually, the last couple of years, I've, uh, I've been too, too negative too early. But uh, I was number one in the country in 2008 and number, and number two in 2002. In 1994, I was number one in stocks and bonds at Timer Digest. Well, Arch, was, we've, got a, we've got a call. We've got one of our friends oh, from Atlanta. Let's Danny, are him. you there? Yes, I'm here. Okay, my you've question, got Arch Crawford on the line. Go ahead. My question for both of you is, what would you be looking for to either confirm that we're going to get a turn on this full moon or it's it's not going to work? Go um, ahead. Go, go first, Arch. Okay. Well, right now I'm looking at the daily charts of the major indexes, and they uh, the NDX is right on the 200-day moving average right now. Uh, the S&P 200 day is about 12.53 or 4, and the Dow Jones is down around 11.700. So we could go 200 more in the Dow, uh, 20 more in the S&P, uh, and the NDX could go a little bit below it without necessarily turning into a total route. Um, so I would say that we are coming up to a major test at the 200-day moving averages. And if that uh, normally, even if you're going to break it, it usually get a bounce off it the first time it hits it. So I would bet on a bounce, uh, possibly today, possibly tomorrow, possibly the next day. And it could go, what, another 200 points in the Dow or 20 points in the S&P before you actually get to that test. Okay. Okay, well, my, my opinion, Danny, is uh, very similar to uh, Arch's, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait until the end of the day uh, today to assess what's happened because if we close very badly right at the low of the day, that suggests we haven't you know finished the cycle yet, and I'll look at it again tomorrow. Uh, stay with us, folks, and I want to finish up the show here and I wanted to thank Arch for joining us today, and we'll have him back on again. Uh, hopefully uh, in a couple of weeks. Thanks for joining us, Arch. Super. Enjoy it. Are you looking for a precision edge in the market, something that can stack the odds in your favor? Then look into Larry Pesavento's new trading newsletter, Patterns, Profits, and Peace of Mind. In each weekly issue, Larry explains what's going to happen in the markets based on the pattern he sees developing and gives you actionable trade ideas based on those patterns. Plus, you'll get his detailed analysis on a variety of markets and sectors, including stocks, treasury bonds, the gold market, oil, the dollar, the forex market, and more. And you'll get the Technical Corner segment, which is a short but powerful weekly training session on trading. You'll get access to all the patterns Larry is seeing in the markets, plus the Astro Harmonics and powerful Bradley stock market model that Larry utilizes for less than $5 a day. An extremely potent combination that will give you just the edge you've been looking for. 
Try Patterns, Profits, and Peace of Mind absolutely free for two weeks. Go to TFNN.com and click on the free trial link at the top of the page. That's an $85 value, yours free when you register right now. Get Larry's Patterns, Profits, and Peace of Mind and get the edge you've been looking for. Tom O'Brien's weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, gives traders, investors, and money managers a thorough strategy for trading in the gold market. If you're an investor in gold or any of the gold mining equities, this newsletter is an essential tool that can help you become a better trader in the gold market. The Gold Report comes out every Monday with complete coverage of the entire gold market, including the XAU, HUI, the dollar, the bond, the RAND, as well as more than 35 different mining equities. For the low price of $150, you will receive 13 weeks of the Gold Report, or you can order up to a full year for under $500. If you'd like to find out more about the Gold Report, log on to TFNN.com, or for more information, call our office at 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. At Tiger Metal Exchange, we pay you more for converting your jewelry to cash. Let's go to uh, Brian in New Jersey. Hey, Brian, what's going on? Hey, Tom, I uh, just want to let you know I did uh, give you some jewelry. Uh, my jeweler offered me uh, about $650. I should get a check in the mail tomorrow for about 1200 At Tiger Metal Exchange, it's all about honesty when converting your jewelry to cash. Okay, let's go to Paul in Florida first. Hey, Paul, what's going uh, on? I want to commend you on the Tiger Metal Exchange. I just did a deal with you guys the other day. Oh, good. I'm very happy. <laughs> well, I appreciate it. Now, yeah. did you sell us jewelry or did you buy coins off us? Yeah, I sold you jewelry. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. See, what we weighed of that was less than you guys said, so, you know, you're totally honest. At Tiger Metal Exchange, we give you the tools to value your gold, and it's absolutely free. Call 866-618-8888 or log on to TigerMetalExchange.com. We've created the easiest, safest, and most honest cash for gold process. Tiger Metal Exchange. It's the only call you need to make. Hi folks, this is Tom O'Brien. My new book, The Art of Time in the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, is for sale at Amazon.com for only $18.40. Okay folks, this is Larry Pesavento back with our show, and uh, I was finishing up with... Uh, Danny in Orlando, and basically what I'm doing is I'm waiting to see what happens at the end of the day. And uh, if we close right near the low of the day, I'm going to wait one more day to see if uh, we get a little bit, but I, a little bit lower. But I will be looking to, you know, cover the SDS uh, either today or tomorrow. Uh, get out of the short intel, and of course get out of the the short uh, win because that has a very good profit in it, uh, over 15 points in the win. So that's what we'll, that's what I'm looking for. Um, uh, there's a chance that we could melt down a little bit more because we have some bigger things happening on the uh, over the weekend. And uh, just because we've been down seven weeks in the stock market doesn't mean it can't go eight weeks. So what I'm going to do is just give it as much time as I possibly can. It's one of the few times where I, I stay in front of the computer and uh, check it about every 15 or 20 minutes, and I have beeper set on if we take out highs of certain periods. So that will tell me that I can at least get into a – a position where I can uh, get out very, very quickly. I've got the letter, uh, the the, uh, the alert letter, almost finished. You know, so telling what every uh, what I'm going to be doing, but I haven't sent it out yet. I'm waiting until we we see the whites of their eyes, as they say. Um, th this is a, a really important uh, full moon, folks, because uh, when we had that big move uh, yesterday, uh, you know, everybody was saying, oh, you know, the market came in early and we're going to miss the whole thing and you know, and I try to you know to to calm people and say, look, these markets go up and down a lot, and it's been down seven weeks. It's just not going to go straight up from here. And in just in a matter of 24 hours, we come down, and now we're taking out the lows that we made. So that tells you that that cycle low has not you know materialized yet. This could be it that we're looking at right now. We asked for a spike. If you recall on our Monday show, we were saying the best thing we could look for would be a spike down into the 15th, and we're getting it. All I'm doing is I'm going to try to wait to the end of the day to see if the spike is, uh, you know, going to be for real. or And I might have to give some back and actually, you know, pay higher prices to get out of it, but at least we'll get out of it. Now, the strategy that happens after we have this low is what's really going to be important. 
because the last time we had one of these, we rallied three or four days into the, the new moon, which was the high, and then we came down really, really hard. If we only rally three days, I mean, really marginally, uh, then you, you've got something really uh, negative to, to look at. Now, you have to ask yourself if you're, you know, bullish stocks, you're up 160-some yesterday, and then you come down 160 today. Um, you know, that's not bullish, uh, that's not bullish action. So, you know, you have to be, uh, you know, watch what the tape is telling you. And, you know, when markets go up and then come back down, and there's a lot of selling up there. So you have to be aware that this is what's really going on. Uh, we've got a call from Mike in Thailand. Sai D, Mike. Hey, Larry. How's it going? Fine, thank you. How are you today? Well, I'll tell you what. I think uh, I'm really in an uh, indecisive mood. Um, uh, it's, it's a humbling day for me because uh, I see what you guys are both thinking about, and, and uh, I see what Arch is talking about. And uh, anyway, uh, it looks already like that VIX is spiking. So I'll tell you, it's a humbling day for me because I'm... Um, uh, are you still because, there, Mike? Um, oh, okay. uh, Am I coming through okay? Or? Yeah, you cut out a few times, but that's okay. Just keep going, and if, yeah. if it stops, I'll let you know. Okay, okay. If it, stop, if it keeps going, that's probably better. <laughs> but anyway, uh, anyway, um, uh, it looks now already like this VIX. If it's going to top, it's it's got to be like a day like day because we did break through. We did make a new high, and I was wondering. It sounds like Arch really pays a lot of attention to that VIX, and they do spike. They do, uh, if this thing kept going up more and more, yeah, we would really have these markets really cave in, but I'm getting indications. I'd like to hear what Arch has to say about this. I'm getting indications that we have, in fact, bottomed because uh, even though we're having a strong rally in the dollar today, we're not near where we should be and commodities they're not tanking oil's not tanking and and so on that's uh enough on my end i'd like to hear arch's comments if i could okay well, arch well. arch arch had to go so i will i will cover thanks for calling in mike but uh, basically what i'm watching is the i watch the vix but not to the extent that arch does uh, all i do is i put a beeper in and when we took the high out of mid-may um, earlier today, that tells me that something is happening. It is starting to spike. That's one of the reasons why I want to give it as long as I can today to see if we get a little bit lower, you know, to the downside. Now, we've got a call from um, Rick in British Columbia. Are you there, Rick? Hey, Larry. How are you doing? I, I'm good. I what can I do for I you? I wanted to catch your show right from the beginning. So just, I, just before your last caller, you were mentioning that you, you, you didn't ha quite have things figured out yet, or am I not saying the right thing yet? No, that's right. I haven't figured out what I want to do. I'm short the, uh, you know, the stocks, and I'm uh, short three stocks. I'm short uh, Intel. I'm short um, Win, and I'm short. Uh, I'm long the SDS, which is short the S and P, and I'd like to cover those. But I want to cover them either late today or early tomorrow. Now, if they start to rally today, I'm going to be late, and I probably will look a little foolish. But that's the way it's going to be. But I do want to wait and and see what happens. And the reason for that is is partly the VIX. Uh, doing what it's doing, and the other reason is is that we've given everything back that we did yesterday. So that tells me that cycle has not really bottomed yet, and that's what I'm looking at. Yeah, Intel uh, definitely looks like you want to start thinking about covering it. There's no doubt about that. It's coming down on lighter volume. Hey, my question, that doesn't mean it can't go a little lower first. NYA, um, uh, I don't get the volumes on this thing, but... I don't think anybody gets the volumes on that. It's basically but I, uh, an index. But <laughs> yeah, but I just see I see a beautiful head and shoulder top on that thing. And I don't know if you follow head and shoulder patterns at all, but um, it looks to me like, uh, like um, you know, very often once a head and shoulder pattern is finished, this should take it down to like 7,800 or something like that, which, you know, if the market follows the euro, euro the euro looks like it's going lower for another day or two. Um, and then um, it looks to me like on any bounce, uh, the neckline then would be 8,200. So if you were to buy it at 7,800 or see 87, uh, about 7,700, I guess, is what the neckline would take it to. But anyway, I just uh, thought I'd 
That's a, that's a very good technical picture. I, I posted the uh, NYSE in the Dedan, and it does show the head and shoulders pattern. And thanks for bringing that to the attention of uh, the folks, because that's one of the patterns that's very, very popular. Okay, and folks, very you, often you go back to the neckline, right? This you certainly do. They snap back to the X like a magnet. You have absolutely correct. Yeah, it looks like 7,700 possibly target. With Are you looking for some extra cash to help pay off some of your bills? Let Tiger Metal Exchange convert your unwanted jewelry to cash. We pay out 80% of the market price for gold. Our payouts are the highest in the industry, more than double our largest competitors. And we've created the safest, easiest, and most straightforward process for converting your jewelry to cash. Log on to TigerMetalExchange.com and get your free scale, your free eye loop, and get the cash you deserve now. We provide a free online calculator that converts your jewelry to cash at up-to-the-minute spot prices. We insure your items for up to $75,000 per shipment free of charge. We videotape the entire valuation process so that you can view it online. You can call us toll-free at 866-618-8888 or log on to TigerMetalExchange.com. Let Tiger Metal Exchange put more cash in your pocket without ever leaving the comfort of your home. Join the list of thousands of satisfied customers and go to TigerMetalExchange.com. It's the only click you need to make. TFNN is proud to bring you the cutting edge of newsletters. Ken Shreve's Ultimate Growth Stocks. Ken is a top-down investor who lets price and volume in the major stock indices tell him when to be in the markets and when to be out. By using his unique blend of fundamental and technical analysis, Ken will protect your hard-earned capital while realizing breakout gains. Go to TFNN.com today. Click Investments and Newsletters and get Ken Shreve's Ultimate Growth Stocks free for two weeks. Put the power of the Chapman Wave methodology to work for you. No matter what market you trade, what time frame you trade in, or your trading style, the opening call, Basil Chapman's daily market newsletter, is bursting with the information and trades you need to become a more successful trader. I've been using Basil Chapman's Chapman Wave methodology for several years now. His Chapman Wave can be used for any time period for not only equities, but futures, currencies, commodities. I've been also a subscriber of his opening call, which I find an invaluable tool to help me analyze the potential of the market each day. He gives you opportunities to go short and long. It includes recommendations on stocks. I strongly recommend people using the Chapman Wave and very, very strongly support the use of his opening call. To find out more about Basil Chapman and his Chapman Wave methodology, and to get your two-week free trial of the opening call, a $64 value, visit TFNN.com today. Would you like to discover the next great tech stock? David White, TFNN's technology guru, has just launched his new newsletter, The Technology Insider. In his newsletter, David will be looking for those shining stars that may turn into the next Apple, Microsoft, or Cisco. David combines his technology background as a software programmer with his market skills as a successful professional trader to give you this unique newsletter. We're on the verge of the next great tech run. With the Technology Insider, you'll be in front of the run-up and not lagging behind. David is developing a long-term investment portfolio. Therefore, we're only offering the Technology Insider as an annual subscription with a remarkable price of only $395. That's right. For a little over $1 a day, you'll receive the fundamental technology wisdom and technical trading skills of the Technology Insider, David White. What are you waiting for? Go to the front of TFNN.com, click on the link on the front page, sign up for your two-week free trial, and become a Technology Insider today. TFNN introduces Tiger TV. Tiger TV brings you video content to help you succeed in the financial markets and beyond. Investors and traders can get in-depth information, news, commentary, and education for investing and trading equities, options, commodities, forex, futures, and more. Just go to TFNN.com and click Tiger TV and select your favorite channel from the carousel on the left. Grab a popcorn and get ready for Tiger TV, a great new service from TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Vista Gold. For more information, just click the Vista Gold banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, folks, this is Larry Pesavento back, and uh, we have uh, Steve Rhodes on the line. Are you there, Steve? I sure am. Larry, how you doing? I'm doing great, my friend. What can I do for you? Well, you know, I couldn't let the day go by without at least calling in and saying hello. And uh, thanking you for having uh, Arch on. You know, these are these are definitely the days that we live for. 
You know, we, we spent so much time going through the charts, taking a look at the new moon, full moon uh, aspects, and, you know, with yesterday and taking a look at today, you know, possibly making the low. Um, you know, these, to, to me, these are the days that we live for. I just wanted to let you know, let's take a look at the uh, SPY chart, and, and uh, you know, it's made a real nice Gartley pattern, uh, you know, a 786 Gartley pattern. Yes, uh, right I'm watching that closely, believe me. <laughs> What's that? I'm watching that one very closely, yes. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, it hasn't broken through its lows, obviously, you know, even though the index did. And, uh, you know, obviously, if we, if we can hold this level, then we've got that uh, low in there. And, you know, with the, with, the full, with the full moon and the lunar eclipse coming in around uh, 3.15 this morning, is that, you know, do you take a look at that timing? Uh, no, that's too, that's too uh, uh, what do you call, precise for me. Yep. You know, yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I, I, sometimes they hit exactly on those times, but, but frankly, I just want to see the day, and then I look at the pattern. And as you know, I don't look at the, mach you know, the, the monitors all day long. Today yep, I'm yep. going to be looking at them more than any other time, but... Uh, most of the time, I'm, I'm just away from it, and I have my beepers on, because I, I don't. I want the market to, you know, do its own thing and not let me think about it. People lose money, Steve, because they think about their the money that's in there. If they're long, they they focus on the upticks. If they're short, they focus on the downticks, and that's the wrong thing to do. So. Yeah, yeah, I know. But, but this so, is a, this is going to be a critical today, and I, I want to thank you for it. while I was gone. You posted those wonderful charts. Uh, you know, showing those lunar things that were going on, and it's really exciting when you see them, and you and you realize that the market is not random, and that it does follow within these cycles. Many times, it, it really is quite fulfilling. I think. No, absolutely, it's a great tool. It's a great tool, and then you know, it makes it kind of easy because you know you plan for this, and then it just becomes it's an issue of money management. You, you know, we don't know which way the market's going to go uh, tomorrow, the next day, or what have you. But no. you've got this. You know, you've got this information in front of you. You know, it's nice when you've got the time pattern that's, uh, you know, that's setting up with the price that you were, that you were looking at. So uh, and I just want to say thanks to you. Say hello. Uh, okay. Celebrate with you on the full moon, if you will, and thank you for having our chat. <laughs> okay. Uh, thanks a lot, Steve. Okay. I appreciate it. Take care. Uh, you bet. <laughs> okay. And I believe we have another caller that's been very, very patient. Uh, Don in Akron, are you there? Yes, sir. Uh, two questions, if you don't mind. What's your thoughts on oil? And do you believe in uh, the plunge protector team? Well, there's certain, if you've watched the movie uh, Too Big to Fail and see how some of the decisions were made uh, during the TARP thing and all the crash that we had during, well, it wasn't crash, but, you know, the big sell-off on the market in, in 2008, you know that they can do things like that very easily. I personally believe that they, they do do things like this because uh, of what happened in 1987. That's when the plunge protection team was formed. Uh, basically, Greenspan walked into the banks on uh, Monday afternoon uh, after the markets closed and said, you know, open your vaults. The, F the Federal Reserve will lo loan all the money you want at zero interest rate, but the market stops going down now. And that's what happened. And so there, there is something to that, but it's very secretive. You know, but we we don't know the oil thing. I, I have a think I have a better handle on, and that is, uh, you know, it has been following these patterns. Uh, today's rally that we had was an exact 618 retracement of the high uh, two days ago, and so it's in a downtrend. It's had lower tops, lower bottoms. It looks like it's on its way to break uh, 95, and breaking 95, you know, sets up price objectives down in the 85 level. I hope that helps, but that's what it looks like to me. I thank you. Okay, folks, thanks for the show, and I will uh, see you guys tomorrow.